Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. So hari ni kita nak masuk chapter 6 iaitu Theory Separation of Powers. So basically this is our learning objective for this chapter. So first of all you need to know what is the definition by separation of powers. Then you akan tengok uh, apa perbezaan separation of powers dengan fusion of powers. Moving on kita akan masuk what are the reason and also advantages of having separation of powers. So last but not least, kita akan tengok what are the criticism against separation of powers. Separation of powers is the theory that indicates how the functions of government should be differentiated lah. So maksudnya kat sini, um, uh, separation of power ni merupakan satu penanda aras atau kita katakan kayu ukur uh, bagaimana uh, sesebuah uh, sistem kerajaan dia nak membezakan fungsi cabang-cabang uh, yang tiga cabang tu dalam uh, mentadbir negara lah. So, this means that activity performed by different organs or branch will consist of different person so that each department will be restricted to its own sphere of actions without trespassing ataupun kita kata mencerobohi others. So, kat sini... Ada, uh, ada orang kata apa? Ada check and balance lah. So, kita aim untuk avoid any domination of power ataupun kita katakan uh, monopoly of power uh, ataupun kita boleh katakan abuse of power. Salah guna kuasa. So, itu adalah separation of powers. So, untuk separation of powers ni, kita hanya recall sahaja what we, what you have learned uh, in semester 1 uh, on subject PAD 102. So, it is a separating the power of the three government branches. So, you are the legislative body, you are the executive body and judiciary body. Uh, so, dalam gambar tu dah ada dah tiga branches tu. So, this theory that has been introduced by Montesquieu, uh, he is a French political scientist. So, according to Montesquieu, dia kata, uh, concentrated of power in one hand is dangerous because it is usually brings about despotism and tyranny. So, concentration of power tu kita katakan pemusatan kuasa lah. Uh, so, kita katakan despotism and also tyranny ni adalah dictatorship lah, dictator. So, dictator tu apa maksudnya? Ruler holds the absolute power. So, for example, macam uh, negara Brunei, uh, sultan dia lah badan eksekutif, sultan dia lah legislatif, sultan dia lah judiciary. So, itu adalah salah satu contoh um, negara yang boleh dikatakan Uh, mengamalkan tyranny. So, it also refer as highly differentiated and also specialized functions of the government branches of administration. So, again, uh, setiap branches in the government system atau Malaysia government administration tu legislative apa fungsi dia? Executive body apa fungsi dia? Judiciary apa fungsi dia? So, setiap badan uh, ataupun setiap cabang ni mempunyai specific function. And also dia punya orang kata apa, uh, jurang dia perbezaan dia pun sangat besar eh. Uh, badan legislatif, dia kita tahu dia legislate law, uh, make laws. Badan eksekutif kita tahu dia enact law ataupun kita kata dia implement law melaksanakan undang-undang. Manakala untuk badan judiciary, uh, dia adalah satu badan yang menginterpret ataupun kita kata menterjemahkan sesebuah undang-undang tu. So, cooperation is must, otherwise government will collapse. So, again, uh, these three bodies is actually depends, uh, depending on each other. So, cooperation is must lah. So, bila you ada kerjasama yang kuat, so, the process of having, uh, 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 the process of making the policy is can go smooth, uh, can, be, uh, can go smoothly. So, apa beza uh, separation of powers dengan fusion of power ni? So, basically, fusion of power ni, dia opposite dengan separation uh, of power punya teori. Dia bertentangan dengan teori uh, separation of powers. So, basically, fusion. Perkataan fusion tu, kalau according to Cambridge punya dictionary, fusion means combination. You macam you blend lah. You blend, uh, contoh you blend sadari dengan timun kan? Bila you blend, 
Warna sama je Sebab dulu hijau So dah blending Combination It is called fusion because the executive is also legislative body. So again, teori separation of power tadi mengatakan bahawa setiap cabang uh, mempunyai bidang kuasa yang berbeza-beza dan fusion of power pula adalah sebaliknya. Rupanya fusion of power dia kata dan teori fusion of power dia kata executive is also legislative body. So however, The judiciary is independent and separated from the other two branches. So, fusion of power ni, dia uh, kita katakan badan eksekutif tu jugalah badan legislatif. Ataupun kita kata member of the executive body is also the member of legislative body. So, for example is in our country lah Malaysia. So, Malaysia practicing fusion of power. So, kalau you perasan dekat badan legislatif, you ada house of uh, representative, you ada senate, betul tak? So, uh, MP dalam parlimen tu juga merupakan badan eksekutif. Orang-orang yang duduk dalam badan eksekutif. So, sal- uh, salah satu uh, cabang ataupun salah satu komponen dalam eksekutif body adalah cabinet ministers. So, itu adalah something yang I rasa you dah tahu dah in general sebab uh, kita dah belajar dalam PAD 102. It's time for you to relate the fusion of power punya teori. Uh, applies uh, in the Malaysian uh, government punya environment So moving on So kat sini dia dah bagi table lah Dia differentiate between separation and also fusion of power So kita akan tengok one by one dulu Kita akan tengok dengan separation of power dulu Baru kita tengok fusion of power So untuk separation of powers Basically commonly used in the presidential system For example macam negara US lah America So untuk fusion of powers common, uh, Commonly practice in uh, parliamentary system So kita ambil example Malaysia Senang yang you nak nampak So untuk separation of powers uh, The voters vote twice So basically the voters tu refer kepada rakyat lah So rakyat uh, rakyat Amerika Dia orang ada Uh, hak untuk mengundi sebanyak dua kali So satu undi Dia melantik uh, legislative member Ataupun kita kata kongres Kongresmen tu adalah legislative members lah And lagi satu vote adalah untuk uh, Elect dia punya presiden Oh rupanya presiden dia duduk bawah eksekutif Compact dengan Malaysia Rakyat Malaysia hanya mengundi satu kali saja, and then kita undi untuk legislative members. So meaning that legislative member tu dalam badan legislatif tu ada juga Perdana Menteri. So itu perbezaan separation of powers dekat US dengan fusion of powers in Malaysia. So untuk separation of powers, presiden dia duduk bawah cabang ataupun kita kata uh, body, executive body. Tapi dia tak duduk dekat legislative body. So, legislative body untuk separation of power basically kongresmen uh, ni adalah uh, adalah orang yang bukan businessman, yang bukan politician. Memang orang yang ada background uh, uh, dengan political science and also administration lah. So, untuk badan executive for separation of powers in US, Uh, sesiapa, sesiapa, uh, sesiapa sahaja yang boleh jadi presiden So for example presiden ni kalau contohnya sekarang um, Kita ada Donald Trump So Donald Trump is businessman So kadang-kadang executive body untuk separation of power In US presidential system May be politicians May be businessmen Or any individual Tak kisah siapa-siapa pun Tak ada background politics pun tak apa Contoh macam Barack Obama And then kalau politisi kita tengok George W. Bush. Uh, tu adalah contoh dia lah. So untuk Malaysia, uh, legislative member is also executive members. Next, the legislative and executive are elected separately separately in different elections. So untuk separation of powers, uh, pelantikan uh, legislative member and also executive member diadakan secara berasingan. Manakala untuk fusion of power, uh, bagi contoh negara kita, Malaysia, uh, Perdana Menteri is selected among the members of parliament, which is uh, which is true. For example, macam you tahu kan Najib Razak merupakan uh, member of parliament uh, ataupun kita kata wakil rakyat untuk kawasan Pekan Pahang. Sama juga dengan Tun Dr. Mahathir. Dia merupakan wakil rakyat untuk kawasan Langkawi. So, dekat situ you dah tahu dah. Prime Minister also is a member of parliament. So again, the Prime Minister uh, untuk fusion of powers untuk bagi negara Malaysia kita punya ada, kita punya perdana menteri also appoint his minister who also among the member of parliament. So again, dia punya cabinet tu pun merupakan uh, cabinet uh, 
Kabinet Menteri telah di, uh, dilantik oleh Perdana Menteri and also Kabinet Menteri itu juga merupakan member of parliament. So, kontra kontra dengan separation of power in US, the president appoint his ministers uh, or official executive maybe any politician businessman or any individuals so basically untuk um, badan eksekutif dekat US dia hanya appoint dia punya uh, ministers ataupun dia punya cabinet lah dia tak bagi cabinet dia panggil officials so dia takkan uh, dia takkan orang yang sama daripada badan legislatif dia asing so tak sama macam kita punya concept fusion of powers lah sebab fusion of power kalau you tengok next point dia kata apa kat situ Both legislative and executive body members are the same people So it is called fusion of power because the executive is also the legislative member However the judge is not ha, Sebab apa? Sebab judiciary body are separated, independent Thus the power is still separated So each not totally independent So basically um, walaupun uh, badan legislative Uh, adalah orang yang sama dekat badan eksekutif tetapi uh, badan kehakiman kita masih berdikari independent so kat situ the power is still separated adalah pemisahan kuasa tu kat situ bidang kuasa tu adalah dia punya orang kata apa uh, limitation dia so each uh, each is not totally independent So, untuk separation of powers, uh, saya dah cakap tadi, members of executive and so legislature are different people. Member of legislature ni basically orang yang ada background uh, in political science and also administration lah. Untuk executive ni tak kisah. Any individuals, uh, politician ke, businessman ke, macam Barack Obama ke, uh, dia boleh duduk ataupun dia boleh bertanding untuk executive uh, member. So, all three come from different people. So, basically untuk US, Uh, badan legislatif dia orang berbeza uh, Executive dia orang lain Badan judiciary dia pun orang yang lain Thus the power is separated So each independent from each other So setiap body tu Dia berdiri atas kaki